What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. Uh, I'm going to do the second part. There's probably going to be another part after this of uh, the TCB auction unboxing. These are all the loose cars that I got from there. And to give you an idea, this is how they come packaged with um, these plastic containers. So they come really nice. And of course, this. There's foam in there, and there's everything around the box and bubble wrap to keep everything protected. So everything comes really good from there. So we get going. We got a lot of cars to go through. Uh, got a lot of loose ones. We'll start off with some Chevys. This is 55 Nomad. Um, this one has a metal base. Did not have this variation, so I was happy to get another metal base one. I don't have too many metal base. But I really like this one. The color is really nice. It's in very good shape. Almost all of their loose castings that they sell, I get, are, are just about mint shape. Awesome color. Noise. Must be... Wheels, noise, wheels. <laughs> so, it's pretty cool. But I'm really happy it has a metal base. Which is cool. As you can see there. Okay, then we got the exposed motor 57 Chevy. I did not have this variation. <clears throat> Beautiful yellow color. Love my 57 Chevys. Once I get through all these unboxings and stuff like that, um, I'll start going through my collection and picking out cast things like one show I'll do or two shows I'll do 57 Chevys and then different muscle cars and <clears throat> stick to a theme for each show oh, it's beautiful beautiful color beautiful shape this car is in very nice 57 Chevy okay now we got a 68 Nova awesome casting that I love collecting have many variations of this is a nice one with the um silver gray color it's almost feels like it's textured a little bit in the top awesome casting love this casting got side tampos no front and back the sides are done And we got a 71 Camaro from Matchbox, which is okay. I mean, it's a little big compared to all my other 71 Camaros. But it is still cool looking. Um, <clears throat> I like the paint. The gold with the black stripes looks really cool. It's got front detail, and I don't think it has rear detail. I don't remember... Nope, but nice. Got the exhaust pipes coming out the back. Dual exhaust. This one's not in the best shape. The paint's a little worn on it, and the glass is a little bit scratched up. Not too bad. Okay, and here's another casting that I love collecting. I have many variations of is '67 Chevelle. Love my Chevelle's 70, of course, being my favorite, but I love the 67. Beautiful gassing, beautiful shape car. <clears throat> nice orange. It's got a lot of tampos on it. It's got them on the sides, it's got them on the hood, and it's got them on the back. I mean, no front headlight, front and tail lights, but... It does have a lot of design on it, so I'm happy with it. The rims are good on it. Basic five spokes. Very nice. And one of my favorite castings is 68 Mercury Cougar. This one's beautiful. I did not have this variation. <clears throat> We're going to move into some Fords now. I got a bunch of Fords in this lot. Um, actually, I missed a Chevy. Let me put this last Chevy up. I missed this one. 
this cougar is got a beautiful color on it. Nice tampos, nice rims. Love this casting. The Hot Wheels did. I love the Matchbox one too. I have a bunch of Matchbox Cougars. They did a beautiful job on that one too. Uh, this is great variation. I'm really glad I got this one. And you know, we got a 57 Chevy. This has a metal base. <clears throat> this one's really nice. Black with the purple flames. Always a good combo. And the wheels actually look good on this one too. And I like the steering wheel. They didn't go with that button. Stupid looking solid steering wheel. It looks like a real steering wheel. Which is cool. I like that. Very nicely done. Metal base. Nice flame pattern. Nice interior. Now we'll get into some Fords. We got a 69 Ford Torino Talladega. Love this casting too. I know you hear that a lot. There's a lot of them I collect, but just about every muscle car I collect. Um, I try and get every variation I can find. <clears throat> this one's really nice, the black hood. And the red on it, I really like that. I like the rims they picked out for this. I think this is a perfect looking car. That front and rear detail would be completely perfect. But nice pearl white. You can see. Very nice. Very nice car. <clears throat> we got a Ford Thunderbolt. Another nice casting. I have a few of them, not a whole lot. But I couldn't pass this one up with the green metallic and all those flames all over it. I love the flames on the cars. Love it. It's really cool. I hope Hot Wheels does some more flame cars this year. I haven't seen too many yet. Miss it when it had all those series with the flame patterns on it very nicely done nice green metallic nice flames on it and we got a 70 mustang mach 1 another casting i heavily collect i have a ton of variations of this mm, i like it with the tack on the hood and everything it's a cool looking car Louvers in the back. Love it. Just the stance and everything just looks fast. <clears throat> this had nice tampos, nice color on it. Really like it. Really cool. Okay, now my other, my favorite Mustang casting is the 65 Fastback. Um, this is my favorite by far of all the Mustang castings that Hot Wheels does. I believe I have every variation of this number 11 now. I think this is the fourth one I have. I've been trying to get this one for a little while awesome looking this is the stance of this car is just awesome looking i want to do a custom on one of these someday very nice the number 11 in red in pretty good shape tampo probably from the factory he was messed up would be my guess because the rest of the car is just about mint Very nice. And now we have a 68. Yep, 68 Shelby GT500. This is a beautiful car. This one with the 
gold interior and the gold accents and the pearl white paint. Beautiful, beautiful car. I believe I have this same one in blue and white, if I remember right. I'm pretty sure I do. I'll find out when I put them away. I actually have to start another case for my Mustangs. I have two full cases of the older Mustangs now. So that's, what, 96 Mustangs? Not including the newer ones, which that's what my son collects mainly. Um, yeah, she's a nice one. I really like this one. Beautiful. The Cobra right there. I love the interior. Very nice. And I got this one, the 69 Mustang. I'm not crazy about this casting. I got a couple of them. Uh, it does shape right to me. It's very big. But I had the gold paint on it. So I figured why not. The price was alright. <clears throat> but I don't get too many of these. <clears throat> it just doesn't look right to me. The shape doesn't look right. It's kind of tuned. But it's not tuned. But the paint was really cool on this one. So I snagged it to go in the Mustang collection. I think it was a buck or two or something. It wasn't that much, so I said, why not? This one I picked up for my kid for his modern Mustang collection. This one's really nice. 2010. This color is beautiful. Um, everything's nice on this one. It's almost like both colors, almost. Really nice. The rims I like on it too. I think they go good with it. Very nicely done car. It's got the gray interior. The silver interior, basically. Very nice paint. Orange base. 2010. Pretty cool. All right, and we got a passing gasser. Another casting I collect. <clears throat> I do not have this variation. I don't even think I have one with those tampos on. I'm not sure. I have to go and look when I put it away. But I like I like this casting a lot. Almost all of them I have come with that wheel pattern, just like that, with the five spokes in the back and that. We're looking rim in the front there. So that's pretty cool. A couple of them don't, but I have a couple premiums too. Of these. So I like it. It's a cool casting. This is another one I want to do a custom on someday. I believe I have an extra. I don't remember. There's a little parachute. Hot wheels. Cool. Sheet, single seat, roll bar. Very nice. Okay, now we got a three window, 34 Ford in hot, hot pink. This one's loud. But I don't have anything really like this color, so this is definitely 90s for sure. It's got a metal base. <clears throat> it's really cool. I like it. I'm not too crazy about pink cars, but this one's really nice. This is another casting. You know, I collect. I can't wait to start showing you guys some of my collection and in future videos and breaking them out, showing you all the different variations. Because I love it when other guys do that on channels that I watch so I can... If it's something I collect, I can see the different variations and go look for them. Nice pink color. Nice metal base. Black walls. Nice car. And then we have another one, which I'm thinking I have already. Which I'm thinking I showed in the video already, but I'm not sure. That I got from another unboxing. But I can't remember. There's so many cars I don't remember. But I really like this one. I think it is because I mentioned the white being a separate piece. But I don't know. Or it's deja vu or something. I don't know. Who knows. Find out when I go to put it away. 
She's a beauty. Nice green metallic. Metal base. I think they all have metal bases, to tell you the truth. I think every single one I have has a metal base. Really cool car. I like these cars a lot. And another casting I love. Collecting the 41 Willys Cube. Is this the 41 Willys? Hold on a second. Yeah, 41 Willys. This is awesome. I actually just got a package in today again from BNL. I'll be doing another unboxing on in a few days. Um, and I'm pretty sure I have a Willys in there too that I ordered. Love it. This one is freaking awesome. This one might be getting um, full detail and real riders on her. Because I just love this color and this flame pattern. It's perfect. So usually when I find one that's really nice that I really like, I'll do that to it. But we'll see. I'm getting a little low on real riders. I'll have to put an order in soon. This is a very nice color. She just needs a little detail. Maybe a clear coat. That'll be a beautiful casting. Okay, and we got a T-Bird, 57 T-Bird, another casting I collect. I did not have this bright yellow one. A lot of the times with this casting I don't get is there's not much Tampa work on them, which is weird. Um, very rarely, I don't know if I have any that have front or headlights done, but there's no other Tampos on it either. They just paint them plain. I put the Hot Wheels sticker in the back on most of them. But, um, yeah, they're done very plain. You would think they would throw the headlights and taillights on since there's nothing else on there, but they didn't. It's black walls. Nice color yellow. And then we have a matchbox. Let me just see. The, it tells you the year. I'm pretty sure it's a 57. Is it a 57? It doesn't tell you. Another Thunderbird. Convertible. It's a beautiful car. I have a couple different ones of these. Of uh, the Matchbox one. This is one I don't really clock, but if I see them, it's a good price, I'll grab it. I'm not a big convertible person, but certain ones are really nice. This one's really nice. Matchbox does a great job with this car. I think, anyway. Beautiful pale yellow with the black white interior gorgeous with the it's almost like a black chrome on the back which is really nice vase very nice there's a little bit of a headlight detail there and it'd be perfect all right we got a few more we got a, some dodges to cover it's a 70 hemi dodge challenger another casting i collect there's very many variations of this. <clears throat> Probably around 24 of these now. 23, something like that. And don't care for the rims on this one at all. They don't go with it, I don't think, at all on this car. But that's what's on there. So someday when I'm old and retired, I'll go through all these and do wheel swaps or regular plastic wheels maybe and make them the way I want them but I don't have time to do it on all of them <clears throat> but cool variation just a nice basic gloss orange like I said just the rims are the only thing the rest of it's really nice and we got a 71 Dodge Demon, another casting I collect. Many variations of this one, too. This is a beautiful combo with the metallic green and the blue. I love this one, and I love the rims on it, too. Perfect choice. <clears throat> what a nice car. What a mean-looking car. Awesome-looking. Beautiful stance on this car. I'll show you the color. Nice green. 
Look at those blue flames. They just pop on there. Wrap around right through the sides. Nice rims. Really nice wheels they chose for this. They're perfect. Beautiful car. And another one that I collect is the 69 Dodge Super B. Love this casting. Love the hood scoop. Love those side scoops there. Awesome. Beautiful car. This is a beautiful green color. <clears throat> they do have a few of these in the collection, too. Probably around the same thing, around 20 of these now. Do you see this? Look at that flake. You got the Dodge in the back. The flame. You got a little Hot Wheels symbol on the bottom there. Beautiful car. This this is another one I could I could see me throwing real riders on and finishing the detail on because this is a beautiful paint job. It doesn't need anything. But we'll see. And I got another Dodge. Super B, which is really cool. The glass I'm not too fond of, but white with the orange flames. <clears throat> oh, one rolled over back here that I missed, guys. Hm. Must have been when I was cleaning them. We could do another Chevy at the end, I guess. <clears throat> but this is awesome. Nice Super B. It's got black interior. Nice flame pattern. Like I said, everything but that stupid orange glass. But the rest of it looks good. The wheels, they're okay. On this one. And we got a 69 Camaro convertible. I don't usually get these, but I like the color of this one and the rims. I thought all this just blended together perfectly, so I snagged it. These I'm selective of. This isn't one I just go collect. So the dark green metallic with the black and some of the gold in there with the gold rims and the black interior was just, it's just, a, yep, you need to get that one. So I think I only have like two or three of these convertibles. <clears throat> First gen Camaros aren't my favorite anyways, second gen, so. I do have a lot of them. Look at that interior. It's freaking awesome looking. Did a good job on that. Rims are perfect for this. Green color is nice. Well, that'll do it for part two. Um, I'll try and do part three tomorrow and finish up the loose castings it'll be mostly like trucks and buses and vans and stuff like that for the most part and there will be all loose too so thank you ever very much for um some of my channel watching my videos um thanks again for all the support from everybody and have a great night